Hi, Digituna here from Jinxer Games, and this is a quick tutorial how to create prefabs with different values using XML. Uh, I will show you first my XML file. So I got my uh, three items here: uh, cube prefab, sphere prefab, cylinder prefab. So this is just the text. Uh, the rest of the information is not important at this moment. And the first thing I use is XML select nodes. And I have my XML file here and as a text asset. Then I'm going to search for list slash item. So list and here I have my items. So the result will be three items here. And I store this in a list. Then I'm using XML get next node list properties and from the list reference list. Uh, the index also is not important at this moment. Uh, you could use that actually to set it on positions or something or for different uh, uses. Then I'm getting the type property. So what I'm getting is uh, the type here, cube prefab, spear prefab, cylinder prefab. And then I'm getting my uh, object from the prefab. Uh, I just use this float add and set vector tree to place them on different positions. Uh, then I have a weight. Oh, um, I also store the object here in a variable. Then I have a weight. Then I use set FSM string. Uh, I specify the, the object that I just created uh, in this variable. Then I use FSM name. So the FSM is just named FSM. And the variable name, which I will place the string in, is new text. And as you can see here, you have the variable new text. Um, and I'm going to set this uh, value, which I got uh, here, the type value. Then I'm going to send event by name uh, to the prefab that I just uh, created and with FSM name FSM and I'm going to send event set, set text and as you can see I have here my global uh, set text is standing here. And this will set the property from this text mesh to the text what is in this new text variable. And at the moment there is nothing, but when I loop this, uh, it will get first the, the new text from, from here and it will place it there. Then again, I have a wait and uh, I loop back for the next one. Uh, the weight is not needed, it's just now for the uh, tutorial. And I'll take away first this prefab, bye bye. And I'm gonna play this. And you're gonna see here, when I press, press go, hello world, and it changes, hello world, changes, hello world, and it changes all of them. And when it's done, it goes here. And of course, you can change all kinds of variables. Uh, if you search for SF, uh, FSM, you got your bool, color, enum, float, game object, uh, and a lot more. And in this way, you can um, loop things and change the properties on your prefabs. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. 
and thank you for watching.